ever pondered why the moon, our celestial companion, doesn't always appear as a perfect, luminous orb in the night sky. Today, we delve into the mysteries of the waning gibbous moon, a phase of our moon's fascinating lunar cycle. The waning gibbous moon is an enchanting phase in the lunar cycle, where the moon appears more than half illuminated, but less than fully lit. It appears just after the moon reaches its full phase, a time when the moon is completely illuminated as seen from Earth. As the moon progresses from the full phase to the new moon phase, it enters the waning period, and the waning gibbous moon is the first stage of this phase. The term waning refers to the process of shrinking or decreasing in size. In the case of the moon, waning signifies the gradual decrease in the visible portion of the moon. Gibbous, on the other hand, means convex or rounded, indicating that more than half of the moon's face is illuminated. Our ancestors were deeply fascinated by the moon and its phases, often attributing divine or mystical properties to these celestial phenomena. The lunar cycle was a crucial part of their calendars, guiding their agricultural activities, religious rituals, and even warfare. The waning gibbous moon, with its unique shape and visibility, held particular significance in many ancient cultures. In ancient Egypt, it was believed that the lunar cycle represented the life cycle of the gods. The waning gibbous moon, in particular, symbolized a time of introspection and rejuvenation, a period to prepare for the new beginnings that the new moon would herald. Across the ocean, the Mayans interpreted the waning gibbous moon as an embodiment of the aging goddess, Ixchel, who was associated with medicine and childbirth. Her appearance in the sky was a comforting sign, a reminder of the natural rhythm of life and its cyclical nature. In Greek mythology, the waning gibbous moon was associated with Selene, the goddess of the moon, it was said that as the moon waned, Selene was retreating from the world to rest and rejuvenate before her return as the full moon. Even today, despite our scientific understanding of the lunar cycle, these ancient interpretations continue to captivate us. They serve as reminders of our shared history, a time when the moon was more than a celestial body. It was a beacon in the night, a symbol of the passage of time, and a source of endless wonder and speculation. We shift our gaze to the waning gibbous moon gracing the night sky. You might observe that the right segment of the moon is always a glow. From our vantage point on Earth, the moon's counterclockwise orbit is responsible for this. As it continues journey away from Earth's shadow post the full moon phase, the left side gradually darkens, leaving the right side bathed in light. The waning gibbous moon makes its entrance after sunset culminating its ascent in the sky just post midnight. It remains faithful companion for most of the night, bidding adieu only after the sun peaks above the horizon the morning. For astronomers and celestial enthusiasts, the waning gibbous phase holds special significance. The subdued brightness during this phase enhances the clarity of the night sky, facilitating the observation of far-off galaxies, nebulae, and other heavenly bodies. The waning gibbous moon is a distinct stage in the lunar cycle that succeeds the full moon. Amid this stage, the moon is more than half visible but doesn't appear fully illuminated. Here, waning signifies the moon's decreasing brightness, and gibbous indicates that the lit part of the moon's face is more than half. This lunar phase is a spectacular sight in the nocturnal sky, climbing after sunset and reaching its peak just past midnight. For astronomy enthusiasts, this is a golden age, as the sky is less bright, allowing for improved viewing of distant cosmic entities. Therefore, if you ever find the moon appearing less bright than its usual full self, bear in mind, you're observing the mesmerizing phase of the waning gibbous moon. This cosmic event stands as a testament to the dynamic and constantly evolving nature of our cosmos.